It's my favorite part of any wow. meeting. All right, then with that, I will call this meeting of the Public Works Committee uh, to order. Great. And we let have... me just, oh, go ahead. I was I... just going to read the roll here. Okay. So we have Bob Lyons, Gayathri Dina Karen uh, available via Zoom, Don Knorr, and Carl Stump present. So we do have a quorum. Not by much, but we have a quorum, which is good enough. So our first order of business is minutes from uh, March 13th, 2023. Don, I'll move we approve. We have a motion to approve those minutes. Is there a second to Don's motion? I'll second. We have a motion and a second. Any discussion with respect to the minutes? Hearing none, all those in favor of the motion signify by saying aye. 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 Those opposed, nay. The ayes have it and the minutes are approved. Our next order of business is a public hearing regarding Middleton Springs uh, reconstruction, and I will call that public hearing to order at this point. Um, we're going to have Assistant Public Works Director uh, Eric Sorensen kind of give us an overview of the project and um, facilitate questions from any uh, of members of the public who are here that might have them. So Eric, it's all yours. Sean, can you pull up an overview maybe? Uh, sure, let me just pop up some project drawings. Mm -hmm. That might make sense. Um, that too, not that much. So this is Middleton Springs Drive, which is L-shaped and runs between Century and Allen. The western leg of this is going to be a pretty simple project that's just a mill and overlay, not a whole lot of disruption. <clears throat> For the eastern leg or southern leg that uh, exits onto Allen, it's a lot more extensive. There's going to be some sidewalk replacement, some curb and gutter replacement. We're widening it slightly at, at the intersection with Allen. Uh, we're going to install a drainage layer and some new base materials uh, for most of that eastern or excuse me southern leg uh, and there will be some hopefully minimal disruption to businesses along there eric would you just check that that microphone's green light is on it may have turned itself off light right next to that on off button. All right, there it is. There we go. Sorry. That's cool. So did you want me to advance uh, a little here? Yeah, maybe you could advance to the uh, staging. staging sheet. All right. Okay, that's good. So, um, We've got a low bidder, haven't awarded the contract yet. The way we've set this up is to have it done within a 40 day window, which could start theoretically in as early as maybe a month. And then we've asked them to be done by the end of September. But once they start, they'll just have these 40 days to complete the project, try to minimize disruption. Now, Hours of operation will be normal, which is 7.30 to 6, Monday through Friday. Although they might get out there a little earlier to turn on equipment and things. A uh, contractor will try to maintain traffic to the greatest extent practicable. Entire street already has a no parking restriction, so that won't change. Contractor will be providing temporary gravel ramps as they move through to, to maintain access to driveways. Uh, there will be temporary closures, of course, but we're minimizing that using high early strength concrete, which should only take a day or two before they could reopen that driveway apron. And through sequencing, um, residential garbage collection will continue to be on Wednesdays, but we will uh, ask 
Pelletier to come by early on those days. Commercial garbage collection and deliveries will have to be orchestrated through the project manager and the contractor. Project manager is me. Appliance collection, brush collection will be suspended. Um, sequence, this is not set in stone because the contractor has something to say about that. Um, it will be split into two phases. And those two phases are basically split at the main entrance, you know, that goes up to Starbucks and McDonald's and that goes south to C's Bakery and Ace Hardware. Um, while those are closed, you will be able to have access from the driveways immediately to the west to all of those businesses. And then the second phase will be the rest of that western leg and the north-south leg. So while we're in while we're in phase two, you know, access will be off of Allen Boulevard and we'll have a detour route signed. And when we're in phase one, access won't be from Allen, but they'll have to detour on to uh, Middleton Springs coming south from Century Avenue. Um, sequence of activities. First, they'll do some utility work, which is relatively minor and won't close the street. Um, and they'll go in and remove the rest of the pavement. They'll install new base layer and a drainage layer, and they'll start replacing uh, sidewalk, curb and gutter, and driveway aprons. Adjust some utility castings. And last thing we'll do is pave the street and restoration. Um, assessments, sidewalks are assessed at 100% or 75% for a corner lot. Uh, driveway aprons are replaced at 50% of cost. And then there's an engineering administration charge of 15% up to a max of $200. There's only two properties being assessed for this project, and that's um, a large lot that includes Starbucks and the strip mall, and then another large lot that includes the hardware store. The bulk of the assessments are coming from that northern lot due to sidewalk and apron replacements. There's only one apron being replaced on the south side of the street. We are not assessing for the curb ramps, nor for a little bit of private drainage work that's occurring in two spots. Uh, costs will be billed when the project is complete. Uh, the owners will have an option of paying in three annual installments. No tree removals. You have the option of replacing sidewalks yourself, but uh, you have to meet city standards and probably with the prices we got would not be saving any money. If you want extra work done within the right of way, you'd have to talk to me about it and we can try to work that out ahead of construction. If you want additional work done on your own property, you could also contact me and I'd connect you to the contractor and you have to work out your own separate contract. Any adjacent landowners are encouraged to provide me with an email address because I'd like to develop a, a contact list for the project to try to make coordination easier. And that's all I had if, if there are questions. All right. Thank you, Eric. Uh, committee members, any questions? Would uh, these two members of the public, did you come on this issue? Yeah. Is, what about the siege brush Okay. Uh, our area is an area that's going to be shut off for our access to the site. 
Yeah, we got we got concerns about that because our clientele is you know, not a young clientele. These people are pretty used to making that in and out. You know, some concern to us and and that and uh, I think it probably needs to be done. It doesn't. I don't know what it's going to what it's going to do to the traffic flow there. That's there now. It's uh, pretty congested. So Starbucks was going. It's got really congested. So I mean, we can't change it in that. It'd be nice if there was a way to we can get some of that traffic to come in either a different direction or something. Uh, Century or something. You know, some of those places. But I don't know if there's a way to do it. But I, I think it's just going to get worse. But now in the school Yes, it is. Especially like the second time. It's not bad. And then I know Paul from Harbor has, has had lots of issues. Track during the mornings. We were. Talking earlier that we had a lady get hit trying to come across, or she was going down Allen towards Q. She got hit or uh, harbor side there. She came across the curb, took out one of our trees, and slammed into the patio. Pretty well wrecked the car. So, I mean, that's the first time anything has happened like that. But I don't know. You know, if it was speed involved or, or what it was, but everybody's trying to race through there, trying to get to going. That's a difficult intersection, and it's uh, up hopefully for some redesign in a few years when uh, a joint project between the city and the county are going to repave Century Avenue from Harmonier Street to the city limits. I think. Is that right, John? Yeah, I think that. I think that's uh, currently scheduled now. Well, it's in the draft five-year plan for scheduling yeah. in 2026. So I won't give you any immediate relief, but hopefully uh, when that intersection gets improved, something will yeah. provide some relief for everybody. Well, I know that little that L-shaped roll needs uh, some repair because we've been dealing with coming in there in the spring or early spring, and there's always a big dip. It always settles down there, and then. Now yeah. the last three or four years, there's always water running down the side of it. And they're doing some work and they never really solved it, whether it's a spring or what it is that comes out up there someplace. Always water. Well, Middleton Springs is named Middleton Springs for a reason. Yeah. <laughs> you folks signed in, did you? Okay, good. So we'll have your name on the record here. Anything else you'd like to add? Any other questions of Eric or Sean or no, the committee? No, we kind of talked it over with him a few times. Okay. Um, nothing. I just wanted to point out a couple of things that we've seen. Okay. Things that's happened. Is up All right. Well, thank you for coming and thank you for your input. And I know that uh, any other questions that you have once the project gets underway, you can certainly get in touch with Eric and he'll be helpful trying to get them resolved for you. Yeah, it's gonna be interesting to see how, how the traffic all moves. People, <laughs> people will <laughs> find a way. Yeah. Yeah. It's kind of a busy time, you know, Restaurant, yeah. restaurant yep. Well, it's a popular place and people will continue to come. They'll just have to figure out a way to get there. We've been there 38 years, so we've uh, uh, been good to us. I have to say that. But once this is done, it should improve access to the not only your property, but others as well, and just get that road in better condition so it doesn't flood all the time and yeah. it should be better. But it'll be a temporary inconvenience. Yeah. Well, yeah, for everybody there. Yeah. All right, any further comments, questions? 
If not, I thank you for your input uh, and for coming tonight. And I'm gonna call the, uh, an adjournment to the public hearing and we'll go back to our regular agenda. All right, thank you. All right, next item of business is uh, Middleton Springs reconstruction award of a bid. And uh, Eric, do you want to also kind of go over this one a little bit? Seems pretty straightforward, but I can. Uh, so we only received two bids, but they were both pretty decent. Um, we've attached an award recommendation from our consultant, and then I typed up another memo on top of that, which is just summarizing the remainder, the overall costs. Uh, so the low bid came from Northwestern Stone, who's got a lot of experience working in the city. And that was 332,438.60. In addition to that, we're going to need to fund an amendment with the consultant for 32,754. We had planned on replacing three street lights and we don't have a hard quote on that but we're estimating fifteen thousand dollars i've also thrown in six thousand dollars for materials testing services um and from the total we can take away uh some costs that'll be paid by water and sewer utility of about twenty six thousand dollars which brings us to almost 360,000, which is about 10,000 over the approved budget we have of 350,000. I have a question about that. Don't you, I mean, the, the bid number includes the sidewalks and the, and the aprons, correct? That's correct. So you can take that, can you take that assessment that, that the owner, property owners are going to pay from that number? Not really. Even though we will be reimbursed for that, we don't count it in our capital budget. Uh... Correct. Yeah. Okay. So we'll, we'll receive that money later. And in some cases, we may receive that money over several years. Um, okay. So we need to account for it all now. Yeah. We, we do have a different line item coming up later that looks like bids came in below our um, budget number. So I think on balance, we're in pretty good shape. Uh, this one's a little bit over, but the recommendation includes, of course, monitoring it and, and seeing where we actually end up. Some of these numbers are estimates uh, and even some of the bid quantities like undercut our estimates. So that this could get worse, but it could get better. So um, bottom line is I think we're very close to our budget number and I think we should proceed. We're recommending approval of that contract. Okay. All right, uh, committee members, questions, comments? I make a motion that we uh, recommend to the council and the finance committee that we accept the bid. Okay, so you want to put the number? It's uh, that's Northwestern Stone Northwestern LLC Stone. in an amount of 332 438 60. This is Don, I'll second. All right, we have a motion and a second. Uh, any discussion, committee members? Hearing none, those in favor of the motion signify by saying aye. 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 Those opposed, nay. The ayes have it, and that will be our recommendation to the Finance Committee and the Council. Let me get back to the agenda quick for us. Uh, so next up would be number four. Next is the final assessments for Middleton Springs Drive reconstruction. And we have our resolution in the packet that Eric prepared. Um, this is all based on three years, if I'm recalling right, Eric. Three-year time frame to pay the assessment? I think. 
<laughs> yeah, there's a three year option. Yeah. Oh, here it is. And there, again, there were only two properties that got assessed here, correct? correct. Yeah, and the one on the north side of the street is, is the lion's share of that. So there, yeah, one is, I don't know if that's coming through okay, but 13744 and the other one's a little over $800. Okay, committee, any questions regarding the assessments? This also goes to city council. This will go to the city council. Yeah, right. And finance or just city council? Uh, we typically take this to both because okay. there's a financial implication. All right, then I recommend we uh, submit it to city council and finance for approval. So that'll be to recommend approval of the engineer's report Correct. and the resolution. Okay. Correct. Upon satisfaction of the city attorney. attorney. I almost Sorry. forgot. I don't almost want to cut out the city attorney. That. I was going to just think of that. So, yes. All right. Uh, any discussion committee? Hearing none, those in favor? A second. A second. Oh, a second, I'm sorry. A second, second. Don's motion. I'll second. All right, we have a motion and a second. Now discussion. Still hearing none. All those in favor of the motion signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed nay. Ayes have it, and that'll be our recommendation to the Finance Committee and the Council. All right. Item number five is still Middleton Springs Drive reconstruction. And this is an amendment to the engineering services agreement with SEH. And I don't know, Sean or Eric, who wants to, does somebody want to provide a little background on this? I think this is a pretty uh, template scope of services for the most part. Uh, it comes down to, um, you know, Eric reviewed the scope, the uh, proposed hours, the fee schedule, and we're recommending this amendment for construction services of $32,754.34. All right, questions committee? Would someone like to offer a motion on this item? I'll make a motion that we recommend approval of the amendment number one the engineer's contract. And that goes to the finance committee and the council as well, correct, Sean? Uh, yes, okay. exactly. With attorney review. And they typically don't because this is pretty oh. template stuff, but okay. obviously they can review anything they feel like. It'll right. be in the packet. Sure. I'll second. All right, we have a motion and a second. Uh, discussion, anyone? Hearing none, those in favor of the motion signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed, nay. The ayes have it. And that will be another recommendation of the Finance Committee and the Council. Okay, go down to number six. And that is Elmwood Avenue resurfacing, award of a bid. Have a good night, Eric. Thank you. Thank you, Eric. Thanks, Eric. Right, and we have Sean Allsrud on our call tonight. So I'll let him say anything um, he thinks is helpful or germane to this topic. If he unmutes himself, otherwise, no. <laughs> Good evening, everybody. Let's try, Sean. <laughs> uh, the I don't have the exact number in front of me, but the 613589910 is $13,589 uh, over our set budget price. Yep, there Sean's got it. Uh, but with the water utility portion, uh, the capital cost would be 529824 So that does leave us with a surplus of funds in this project of around 70,000. Uh, we would recommend 
two two parts that that seventy thousand would be allocated to put towards traffic calming on Elmwood Avenue as we previously discussed. Uh, but we do have an overall budget to look at. And again, with Eric's project being slightly over, uh, some of those funds could be diverted over to cover costs there. Uh, we're currently working on some type of traffic calming. <clears throat> uh, we don't have anything yet. One thing that we are looking at doing is maybe some temporary uh, circles and speed humps, and then we can get some resident input. Uh, one of the things that we would possibly be looking at is purchasing, uh, they are pre-made speed humps that are very similar to the ones that we normally install. And we would put those out. <clears throat> the plus side to that would be, we would have those then on hand for future uh, trials if residents wanted to look into that. So I'm not sure that I understood. You put the temporary ones out before the construction is completed. Are you going to? Yeah. So I think I think what we would like to do is uh, if we move forward and we have some of that surplus funding, that we would use some of that surplus money. I think we're around two thousand twenty five hundred dollars for uh, I'll call them temporary speed humps, but they're they're pre manufactured speed humps that you can install. We would use them as a trial to see how the that way the residents can get a better feel of how that would be driving down the street. And, and I would just add, Sean, I think these are like rubber panels that are segmented so they can be installed and uninstalled, moved, installed somewhere else. They're pinned to the asphalt, as I understand it, with some sort of um, spike or nail system. Correct. It, What's the rated speed? Uh, I don't know. Have you seen information on that, Sean? If these are reasonably close to the same profile that we would build a permanent one? They are. They're a three to four inch in height. And it's, uh, our typical speed hump will reduce traffic from 25 to 15 miles an hour. So I think we would be somewhere close to that. We we don't have a specific model picked out yet, but the research that I've done looks very similar to what we would uh, make out of concrete. Yes, Sean, um, I think Bob asked that question too. Is your plan to try and do this before they start construction? Yes. <clears throat> so like now, essentially. <laughs> well, <clears throat> yeah, it, it, would, uh, it would be very, try, we'd be trying to do this very soon. We're trying to uh, juggle a lot of balls in the air right now with this because of the short time frame. Um, we are doing some uh, utility work along a section of Elmwood. Uh, and we do have Madrell, who is the contractor for the downtown project. They're going to be doing that work. So they are fitting it into their schedule. So we're a little bit tied to their schedule. So I, I, I'm i trying to make everything work out in sequence. Uh, that's my goal, at least. And, and I would add, in terms of timing, Sean and I talked about this a little bit, but it's not on the agenda tonight. So the committee can't really take action on the purchase of any of these things out of the capital budget. Uh, but we can bring back a proposal to the next meeting, which should be in mid-April. <clears throat> Or a recommendation to the Finance Committee and Council on April 18th, as soon as April 18th. And I don't know, Sean, if in the meantime, you can find out the lead uh, time on ordering these things for delivery. Um, but that all ties into whether or not we can do this trial of a speed hump prior to removal of the asphalt. Uh, for things like a circle, we do have stuff in store from a previous uh, trial that we could use for that. 
Would these be installed the entire length of Elmwood from Bristol to countryside or whatever, or just in certain parts of it? The speed humps would be west of Park Street. Uh, we wouldn't be looking at speed humps east of Park Street due to the uh, emergency services recommending that we not have those along there. We are looking at a circle, traffic circle at uh, Gateway South and Elmwood Avenue. You know, I have a considerable concern about this. I mean, we are doing this based on some, you know, minimum stories of the residents. We have no evidence that there's any speeding on this street. <laughs> Uh, based on this kind of a precedent, we, we're probably going to end up putting these on every street in the city. I mean, I think we need a policy that basically says, you know, we put speed bumps where there's evidence of speeding. I mean, I'm willing to bet. That, I mean, I live on Whitgate Road, which is the street that the school is on and in Stonefield. I mean, there is a lot of speeding on that street you know, I think, but I don't have any evidence, right? So, I mean, I can see this coming up every time we do a street renovation and we, and, and to do it just based on some minimum stories from residential people, I don't think is the way to, to respond to this, frankly. And, and I can appreciate that. I, I uh, would just caution since this, topic of traffic calming isn't really on the agenda. I would prefer if we put a pin in this until next time. It's just that I know the committee previously suggested that when this project bid award comes up, they'd want to offer a recommendation to the finance committee and council to hold any excess project funds for traffic calming, well, I, if approved, as approved. I recall an earlier meeting, we looked at some data about accident rates and mm -hmm. whatever on that street and it, it didn't amount to very much as i recall and no. we probably oh, well the evidence we had was was not west of park street it was east of park street we didn't have any real evidence of west of park street that i that i remember uh so yeah. oh go we, ahead and then we yeah you know, we did have uh several uh both east and west uh over the past few years, we've done multiple studies on both sides of Park Street. I So I would like to put this on the April 10th agenda to talk about traffic calming um, on, on this street and in general. And maybe we can revisit that data that we had on accidents and what have you at that time. That as would well. be a better time to do it. OK. <laughs> OK. Yeah, well, that's why that's why I brought up my concern, because I think it's something we need to talk about in the future on a, an agenda item in terms of policy. Yeah, and, and, and I don't think we're too far off topic. I know the committee previously know, said they right. want to so. ask for the surplus <laughs> money, if any, to be dedicated yeah. to this uh, component. It's it's just not really part of the award of yeah. bid to get into this. Would our motion include that that money be held back? for it, traffic coming? It could, and that's the recommendation because the committee previously tied those two concepts together of, of recommend the award and ask the council to allocate any surplus to fund traffic calming features when approved. Um, and, and while we're as staff then working on what concept traffic calming features uh, may be helpful, uh, okay. we just don't have it yet. So then I'll make the motion that we award the contract to Payne and Dolan for $613,589 and 10 cents uh, with excess funds remaining after uh, utilities portion of this project be set aside for the potential of traffic calming devices along Elmwood. And this goes to city council, finance, and mm -hmm. the attorneys. And approval. All right, so we have a motion. Is there a second to Dodd's motion? I will second it. 
All right, Gayathri has seconded the motion. Uh, any further discussion committee? Hearing none, those in favor of the motion signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed nay. Nay. All right. Um, the ayes have it by a vote of three to one, I believe, with Carl voting in the on the no side. And that will be our recommendation to the uh, Finance Committee and the Council. All right. And thanks, Sean. Thank you, Sean. Thank you. Thank you. Have a good night. You too. All right, last item, business item on the agenda is radio replacement proposal. Yeah, and I've been working with Tom Adler or, uh, you know, Tom Adler has been doing the work and I wrote a memo um, about radio replacements. We're in, we're in sort of a multi-year uh, plan to chip away at upgrading our equipment, which is currently largely hand-me-downs from uh, retired police radios some of which are still supported, um, many of which are not. Uh, and so we finally did get all digital, but, but we've got some stuff now that can't be programmed. And I just found out from Tom that Dane County has been loaning us a license that they're going to need to get paid for at some point. So I said to Tom, well, let me propose that we pay for that now before it gets lost in the wash. Uh, and that we ask Tom to program our radios, reprogram some of our radios and the new ones, uh, and then use whatever money we've got left to buy new radios. So I've got a little breakdown in my memo of how the $24,000 could be allocated to cover those different needs. If we tried buying six radios instead of five, we would end up over budget um, and um, so I'm recommending five radios this year. And we'll how many up. do you have in total? Oh, I forgot how many we still have to go. We bought some last year. Uh, oh no, I'm sorry. We bought the repeater for the library basement, which was uh, terribly out of date and one radio last year. Uh, and I think we had a couple dozen to start with. Okay. So it may be a few years, but we're just trying to get the really old ones out of the system first and okay. catch up with the slightly better ones later. All right, any further discussion with respect to this item? Somebody wish to offer a motion? I'll make a motion that we recommend approval of the three items on the menu to uh, the finance committee and the council. Does this go to the finance uh, committee and the council or does this just get done here? I, I think with committee uh, direction, we can just do this. This oh, is okay. all part of radio equipment upgrade stuff. Uh, and so okay, it's all- So it's already approved in the budget. It's, and the okay. budget's already approved. Right. Okay. So you can just strike that portion from Carol's motion? Yeah, so I think it would be more to endorse these three actions right. as recommended by staff. Okay. Is there a second to Carol's motion? Don, I'll second. I have a motion and a second. Any uh, further discussion on this item? Hearing none, all those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Uh, opposed, nay. The ayes have it and we have dispensed with that item. Uh, Gathry, I'm not sure I recorded your vote. Were you muted by mistake? No, I was actually on, but anyway, it was an I. Okay, then I just missed it. <laughs> I'll blame my hearing. So, thank you. All, All right. right, that completes our agenda for this evening. Want to just hang out for a while, or no, 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 no. we adjourn? Uh, we have a motion to adjourn. Is it second, <laughs> motion to second to adjourn. Any discussion? I'm sorry, who seconded? I did. Oh, okay. Um, hearing none, those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Those opposed, nay. Uh, the ayes have it, and we stand adjourned until 
April. I think 10th? it's the 10th. Okay. Wow. Good night, everyone. Good night, Catherine.